Good evening, everyone. My name is Natalie Tran, and I am so honored to present this farewell speech to the graduating class of 2023. I would like to thank everybody in this room who has supported us over the last four years. In a few hours, we will start a new chapter in our lives. I'm sure that all of you are happy to get a well-deserved break from seemingly endless loads of homework, even though, I must confess, I often procrastinated by watching my favorite TV shows like Squid Game instead of doing said work. But to me, high school itself seemed like a TV show. Starting high school is like beginning to watch a new, highly anticipated show, but you don't really know what to expect. Let's rewind four years. Season one, which I call, Dude, Where's My Class, came out in 2019. You start watching and you're a bit confused at first. What is this new setting? What exactly is going on? What the heck is Link Crew? But what you focus on the most in a new TV show is the characters. In our show, new classmates, teachers, coaches, and others helped guide you through whatever high school planned for you. A couple episodes into this new show, you've established which characters are your favorites, and which ones you hope get written out of the next season. Either way, you kept looking forward to each new episode. But about halfway through season one, there was a huge unanticipated plot twist, COVID-19. All the episodes we looked forward to were canceled. Our favorite comfort characters left the show. Alternate programming took over thanks to a guy named Eric Yuan, the founder of Zoom. What a guy. Ugh. The season had too many filler episodes. Let me fast forward. Ugh. Okay, seems like season two of our TV show, I call Can't Touch This, took an unexpected turn from reality to sci-fi fantasy, in which a deadly virus took over the entire world while society was forced to stay indoors or else immediately die. Uh, okay, maybe it wasn't that dramatic, but it sure was scary. Regardless, we persevered. The theater program succeeded through creative modifications, and athletics prospered as the mass boys basketball team won state in the spring of 2021. Ah, finally. Season three, which I call Six Feet Apart, Not Under, returned us to our regularly scheduled program. The bottom half of everybody's faces was left up to our imagination, but it was a small price to pay to escape the sci-fi tomfoolery of season two. A new subplot was also introduced. Our parents, teachers, and even distant relatives all started repeating the same irritating line from the script. Where are you going to college? I don't know. <sighs> Junior year was a stressful time. ACT, SAT, AP, MCA, IPA, PSEO, all this alphabet soup had me thinking, OMG, TMI. But. Our hard work paid off, bringing us together for this cast party right now. Here we are, watching the finale of season four. I call it, are we there yet? It feels like this one was filmed in time lapse because look, we are there. This season has a bittersweet ending. We're happy we got to the end of the show, but we're going to miss everything that happened over the last couple hundred episodes, and there are no reruns. We try to appreciate our current cast members as much as we can because we have no idea if they will appear in the sequel or not. If our series had a trailer, I would include seeing Sweet Caroline in a cloud of colorful dust at the homecoming games. There would be highlights of the sports teams, quiz bowl team, and robotics team all winning state championships this season. And how our math team has won every single year since 2007. I'm so proud of everything we've accomplished. We'll all move on to watching new, exciting shows, but We'll never forget the prequel. So what was my point earlier about focusing on the characters in a show? Characters grow, change, and sometimes leave the show altogether. The leads in my show that I thought I knew better than anybody else turned into extras I passed by in the hallway. But over the years, I have learned that I am a culmination of character traits from every person that has come into my life. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. If you forget anything I said today, I hope you leave here with a feeling of appreciation for yourselves and for all the people you spent your life with these past four years. For us, there is no season five, but 
there is the start of a new show. Use your memories and all the feels to become the writer of your own show and take the script in any direction you desire. Thank you so much for listening and congratulations to the class of 2023.